spell a word only one way. Nobody knows who, I looked it up, at least four different people are, uh, this quote is attributed to at least four different people. But don't you believe it? There's only one way to spell a word correctly. This is the school that I teach at in New York, Columbia Grammar Preparatory School, founded in 1764, 12 years before the American Revolution. When kids, new kids, see that sign, they say, Mr. Turbin, were you the first teacher here? <laughs> and I always tell them yes. Now, look how you spell gram. G-R-A-M-M what? A-R, right? A-R. And it's on every doorway. That we have four different buildings, and on every building it's spelled A-R. But when my checks go into my, every two weeks, she said, oh no, you know it's coming, right? Look, for 25 years I have not been able to get the bank to change the spelling of the word grammar because they have it in the computer that once well. So all, every teacher has his checks direct deposited, works for a grammar ER school. This is, now if you want to get a job at my school, which is hard to get because it's a great school, uh, and you send in a resume and spell grammar wrong on the envelope, the school secretary, right away, that's the end, never even opens it. And this is uh, my first book for Scholastic, Checking Your Grammar. This is about 25, 30 years ago. And when I, I was so excited, when the first dummy or the first designer's version of it came, spelled the word grammar wrong on the cover. Luckily, and look, on the, on the side, spelled it right over here. So I had to call up immediately. I was used to this with that word grammar. But you'd be surprised about how many people don't know how to spell and don't look the words up, and they're writers, and they're copy editors, and they're sign makers, and they just let it go. And now what's happening in the 21st century, because we're living in this computer age with social media, is that the vowels are starting to disappear. So you get all of these are spelled like this, right? So you have Tumblr, and Quicker, and Flickr, and I can see, if we don't stop it, what's going to happen to the covers, the titles of classic books. We're going to lose it. And that's not funny, because we really are losing, because of Twitter slang, we are losing the internal vowels. I see it every day. Here's a new burger place. We've, people have discovered that you can spell a word with just the consonants and leave out the internal vowels, and you'll be able to read the word perfectly. What do you think this is? Watermelon water. This is a new restaurant just outside Times Square. You can read that perfectly without the vowels. This is where Karen and I buy our discount tickets to Broadway shows at the ticket thing. So the idea that the vowel is going to disappear, the internal vowel, not the external, the internal vowel is going to disappear from our language in the 21st century is very real because you really don't need those internal vowels to still get the idea of what the word is.